One more time, you gotta put those gloves on. And then that time is for real. 100% Abby. This is 100%, okay? Yeah, it's different. You hate this mother like, Be respectful, but with all due respect. Yep. Yeah. You know? gonna destroy this guy. I swear to God. You know, felt dry, but that's expected for day of weigh-ins. Everything went normal, calm, very little nerves day of. I was more wor worried about eating and drinking than anything, to be honest. Man, I, I was, I was, my nerves were pretty all right throughout the whole weekend. The one time I think my nerves did kind of get uh, a little bad was when uh, Jordan started wrapping my hands. You know, I started having little moments of doubt and whatnot, but you know, kind of numb that, all that out. You know, just thinking of, you know, all that hard training we been through, you know, the team around me, everyone that helped me out, you know, it helped me get my mindset right and, you know, and uh, get out there and get, get uh, do the right job. As soon as my music hit, it was kind of weird. I didn't really notice anything. My focus went, you know, just straight into the fight. I remember walking down the ramp and I didn't even really notice anybody, you know, other than my teammates, you know, everything just went into a zone. My nerves went completely calm, you know, I was 100% determined. Like, I knew that I was getting into a fight, but I wasn't scared, you know, I wasn't excited, I was just ready. So the fight, you know, it, it happened, pretty much, what I remember, it happened pretty quick, like when they announced your names and everything like that. All of a sudden, we were touching gloves already, everything went into focus. Uh, we were moving around a little bit, and interacted, a couple of ex exchanges, maybe touched me a couple of times, but never, nothing ever really hurt me. When he touched me, if anything, it gave me a little bit more confidence, because he wasn't touching me with anything that, you know, damaged me or anything. I just wanted to walk him down, you know. I, was, I wasn't I was gonna back back down from him. I wanted to show him that I was better than him. I just kept walking forward, kept closing the spaces. Eventually, I remember I threw a cross at him and he put both his hands up, gave me a wide open takedown, went for a trip, didn't work out, readjusted, picked him up into a double leg takedown and uh, we I got him to the ground and we just went from work to their uh, ground and pound, I kind of felt in control. I felt like, you know, that whatever was gonna happen there, I was gonna be the one who determined where it went. Heard him a couple of times. We, I ended up being in a side control against the cage. And as soon as, as soon as we were there, I knew that it was only a matter of time before I was gonna finish it. It felt so surreal, be, you know, just be able to be in so, in so much control and allowing him not to do anything. I kept punching him, punching him. I heard the ref yell at him that he has to defend himself and then you know I just kind of went crazy from there just started punching him you know up until it got stopped and when it got stopped it felt unbelievable it's been a long journey you know we've had we've lost a couple fights we've been through a lot of different training camps trying different things you know um, every single training camp I've been getting better you know and now I feel like we're in tune you know we got a great team around us you know no better coaches around the area no better teammates around the area no better place to be. This is everyone here putting in the work, and uh, that's so motivating. And and now that we got that win out of the way, it's a huge relief. I knew that going into the fight that we can do it, but you know, it's it's until you get it done. Uh, again, thank you to everyone, all my coaches, both Brian's, Berg, Troy, Rob, Cody, all my teammates. You know, Austin, James, Diego. But uh, yeah, Josh. You know, everyone here, everyone here, you know, just having small conversations, making everything, making it being here uh, worthwhile, you know, having a good time here. I didn't do this by myself, you know, it took a team. I know it's one person going in that cage, but it took a team for us to get that uh, win. We're, we're not done yet. We're going to keep going for more. We're going to make a big name.